Hey, what's up? It's Hobart. Welcome to Android University, and this is a very big morning. Why? Because uh, Echelon and the boys over at Team Synergy have gotten the multi-window from the Galaxy Note 2 working 100% on release number 155. Now, first things first, specific instructions from Echelon, you must uh, flash build 147, you must boot it at least once, and then you can dirty flash release number 155, okay? Uh, he says it's probably one of the only times you'll ever hear any developer say to dirty flash, but there's some things he didn't finish up, and he wanted to get the multi-window out so that we can play with it. So you must flash 147, you must boot it once, and then you can dirty flash 155 uh, in order to get it. It will not boot on its own. Just giving you the warning right now, okay? So let's play with it, all right? How do you enable it? How do you disable it? Well, you hold the back button for two seconds, and you're going to be able to get your uh, little sidebar over here. Now you can pick any applications you want to. Let's say we'll open up the speed test, and then we're going to uh, drop in the system tuner down here so we can play with our kernel at the same time. So you got this little center bar here. The center bar, you can move up or down wherever you want uh, to get more or less of an application. Uh, in some applications, you will need to move this up like system tuner for instance so that you can access some of the buttons because you can't scroll okay so this one here you're gonna bring down say we can start a speed test and at the same time we can play with our kernel now we'll see these buttons here those buttons will actually flip the applications around we'll put that more in the middle as you can see that icon right there we'll flip it around okay and then this one will actually give you a full view. So if you wanted a full view of the speed test, there it is. And then we would back up and we would actually go back to System Tuner. Now the split screen is gone, but we can always add it back again by just long pressing and dragging it wherever we want it. And it should open up the uh, bottom, there we go, with speed test. So it pretty much works with this bar here. You can get more or less of an application, um, and uh, looks like you can go. You know, so I say if you want to keep System Tuner this time instead of uh, the Speed Test, you keep it with putting it on the bottom. Okay, go and choose another application if you want to open up Super Su. You can do that. You just long press it. You can put it on the top or the bottom. It doesn't matter. Um, but again, you're going to use the center bar here if you want more of the Super SU application. You can flip them around so that you can see your system tuner application. And then back to Super SU again. Now, bring that down to the bottom. You got your full application here. You can click on that, and you know, you're back at your Super SU. So it works a lot off of that center, uh, center bar. When you hit the back button, you go back to the other application that you had in the split screen. And finally, you go back to the home screen. Well, we're going back to system <laughs> to the uh, speed test. So that is how it works, okay? You're going to long press for two seconds to enable and disable. You pick some applications off the side here. I can pick S Voice, uh, and then I can also pick uh, Super SU and put that, say, up here. What's the weather going to be in Harrisonburg? Well, oh, it, was it was listening to me the whole time here. Hi, Galaxy. What's the weather for Harrisonburg, Virginia today? So while it's doing that, I can actually go down here and play with my Super SU. And then when it figures it out, I can go back up here and say, oh, look at this. Harrisonburg, it's going to be 42 today. It's 38 right now. And we'll go back down to our Super SU. So that is how the new multi-window works. It is working 100%. Uh, have fun with it. Like I said, you must dirty flash over build number 147 uh, in order for it to boot. And then he's going to be fixing some things, and he'll get a new build out for us. But if you want it now, you've got to do it this way, or else you're not going to be able to do it at all. Okay? So that's how it all works. It is the multi-window or the split screen from the Galaxy Note to for the first time ever working on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Have fun with it. I'll put a link in the description for you to download it. Uh, and don't forget to dirty flash. Check out some of my other ROM reviews as well. I keep up to date on the latest and greatest on the Samsung Galaxy S3 for Verizon. If you want to see it before you flash it or while you're downloading, if you're just excited and want to watch it, my channel is the place to go. And after a lot of requests, I do have a donation button there. So if you do feel like that you want to donate, if you like my videos, feel free to. Thank you in advance. But of course, you don't have to. Thanks for watching my video today. Check it out. It's Synergy Build 155 for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Team Synergy has done it again again with the first device to have fully working multi-window from the Galaxy Note 2 here on the device. So have fun with it and thanks for watching. See ya!